بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. You are watching Studio Islam and we are pleased here to sit with you and discuss a very important topic in our life. That is the major sins. We are going to refer the book of Imam Al-Zahabi Rahmatullah Alayh Al-Kabair. Of course there will be some changes, some summarization of that book but still we are going to have inshaAllah all the major sins which is mentioned in that book. The twelfth major sin is arrogance and pride. Arrogance is a characteristic of shaitan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about him وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ When we ordered the angels to make prostration for Adam, all of them fell down prostrating, إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ except إِبْلِيسِ أَبَا وَاسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ He denied and he showed arrogance and he was among the disbelievers. So, the first mistake shaitan have done was the arrogance. And that arrogance lead him to disobey the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what actually arrogance and pride brings. Once Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have mentioned لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال ذرة من كبر He will not enter paradise. The person who will have the smallest part of arrogance in his heart. A man said, Ya Rasulullah إن الرجل يحب أن يكون ثوبه حسنا ونعله حسنا A person likes to have a good dress and good sandals. Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم replied إن الله جميل يحب الجمال Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beautiful and he likes beauty. Al-kibru batru al-haqq wa ghamtu al-nas. Arrogance is to deny the truth and belittle the people. Thus, this is a small and short definition from our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What is arrogance? Arrogance is to see yourself bigger, higher, better than others. It is when a person sees others lower than him, either by knowledge or by wealth or by any means like caste, society, people, level, nation and even tribes. So whenever a person sees himself a bit higher than the people, then he is having kibir, arrogance. Many times arrogance lead a person to leave the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, some people passing by a masjid where only poor people pray and he feels himself a bigger than going inside this masjid and pray with those poor people. This means his arrogance stopped him from following the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And such a person is in a danger of being prohibited from entering the paradise. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save you and me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mentioned in the Quran, إِنَّهُ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْتَكْبِرِينَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala verily doesn't love the one who have arrogance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ كُلَّ مُخْتَالٍ فَخُورٍ Allah doesn't like those who show pride and arrogance. <coughs> Brothers and sisters, arrogance have different forms where it is being expressed. Sometimes it is expressed by the dress. Sometimes it is expressed by some kind of words and comments on the people. Sometimes only an eye gaze and a look on the people shows arrogance. And I tell you one more thing, that dresses below the ankle is one of the forms of arrogance which is prohibited. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, مَا أَسْفَلَ مِنَ الْكَعْبَيْنِ مِنَ الْإِزَارِ فَفِي النَّارِ Whatever below the ankles of the dress will be in hellfire. So let's come back and let me tell you that the humbleness is a characteristic for the believer. And arrogance is the characteristic of people of disbelief and people of hellfire. So let's come back, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala humbleness and practice it in our life and start looking at the people 
at our level instead of looking them below. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you and me from hellfire and make us in the paradise together.